What we're talking about again here is, is from the pulmonary artery to the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. What does this formula look like? Because you're going to have to do this formula and it's, it's a tough one to remember. But if you can understand what we're measuring, then it makes the formula make sense. Here's what the formula looks like. Pulmonary vascular resistance equals mean pulmonary artery pressure minus pulmonary capillary wedge pressure divided by cardiac output. Where have you seen this before? Oh, that's right. Airway resistance. Peak inspiratory pressure minus plateau divided by flow. The same formula is just giving you a pulmonary vascular resistance instead of airway resistance. So this makes sense, right? Pulmonary artery, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. Why are those the values? Because this is where we start and this is where we end to assess all of the resistance between those two pressures. This is P1 minus P2. That's what resistance is. And then of course, the final element here, cardiac output, which we know is gonna be in liters per minute. Now, our normal value for this is about 0.25 to 1.6 millimeters per mercury per liter per minute. That's the, the units of measurement that we're talking about. Why? Because these are gonna be in millimeters of mercury and we're dividing it by a liters per minute. 